Believe it or not, this is a cauliflower dish. It has cauliflower and parsnip and turmeric, which is so good for your health. I'm going to show you how to make this side dish. It's easy, it's raw, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot of cauliflower to make this. And you will be using a food processor. The first time you make this, don't use a whole head of cauliflower. That's just way too much. I think I have about a third of a head here. And you don't want all the center stuff. Um, and even though you're going to put this in the food processor, go ahead and chop it up into smaller pieces because it will make it a lot easier for the food processor to handle it. Um, so... Sometimes you'll be watching the food process here and these pieces will be going around and around and around. Okay. Then the other thing you want is um, one parsnip is enough. This one's actually a little on the big side for the amount I have here. But I already scrubbed it, so scrub it under water and cut off the ends. And then cut it into one inch pieces approximately. If they're extra wide like this, um, go ahead and cut them in half. Okay. So now, well, if I have this one, we're going to <laughs> head over to the food processor and put all of this in. Now I'm going to put all of this into the food processor. This is the chopped cauliflower and the chopped parsnip. And I'm going to start off just with those in the food process. You can see they're kind of bouncing around a lot. So sometimes you just want to stop everything and <laughs> oh my god. Let's see if my dog will stop barking. And usually when I make this, and I'm not videotaping, of course, everything blends up nicely. But now I'm starting to have some big pieces that don't want to cooperate. Sometimes there's a little bit of a um, stem in there. But you can go ahead and open this up. My food processor isn't very big. Most of you probably have a larger one than I do. don't have to do this a whole lot. Now you can see it's making a lot. So if you want to try this with even less, just to see if you like it the first time, do that. Use less um, cauliflower than I did and maybe a half of a parsnip. And then check to see if there are any big pieces. I'm starting to feel that there aren't. So I'm going to add the rest of the ingredients now. And I have to tell you that I found this recipe when I ate at a raw restaurant, but they didn't, they told me the ingredients, but they didn't tell me the quantity, so I kind of made this up. So I put in a handful, this is a third of a cup of raw almonds, and usually I just sprinkle in some salt, and some, but I've got a quarter teaspoon of salt here, so put in that much, and if you want it saltier later, make it saltier later. And then I have ground turmeric, I love turmeric, so I actually put in a teaspoon. This is a great spice. It is so good for you. And let's see what happens. Okay, it's being kind of slow. There's a lot of cauliflower in here. Scrape it down. The, the almonds add a little bit of crunch. Let's see what's going on down here. And we will continue. Hmm. It's 
like it's uh, creating a little air shaft in here. And like I said, when I'm not videotaping, this usually finishes up a lot quicker and it cooperates better. Let's see. And then the other thing I want to do is taste it to see if it needs more salt. And you don't need any oil with this. Let's see. Okay. So if I put some in a little bowl, I can use one thing to scrape. Well, I'm going to use the same. Mm. I think mine needs a little more salt. So I'm going to put a little more salt in mine just because I like it saltier. But this is a, <laughs> this is a lot. Um, but I have some leftover cauliflower, so I thought I'd do the deal. I only had one large person. Mm, I might even put in more turmeric just because I like it. This is good for your, turmeric is good for your joints. So if you've got some arthritic type condition, wow, it is just not really wanting to cooperate with me today. I think it's just because it's so much. But this makes a really yummy side dish, and it's really delicious, and I want you to see this. Let me... That is what it should look like, okay? And um, store it in your refrigerator in a tightly covered container. It'll last for two or three days.